These Nicolax back again today. Today we have a Zorin OS Core. That's Zorin 12 OS Core, by the way. The latest version from the boys from the back. Oh yes, lovely jubbly. And they seem to have made quite a bit of change this time. Not too much, but a bit of change. But we'll go into that later on, I think, if I remember that is. Anyway, very bright, very, very bright, clean. Very clean. I'm liking it very much. What about you? Yeah, I thought so. This is the basic setup here. What I'm really going to do with you is just go through a few things. It's not actually changed too much under the hood, but it has got a lot easier to use. The last couple of Zorins were fine, but they were a bit resource hungry for me, anyway, personally, but not anymore. Okay. Back to the menu on your left hand side, of course, and you've got all the usuals like accessories, games, graphics, etc., etc., etc. But in a nice way, nicely set out. I do really like it, actually. Now, being the core, you don't have too much, and it's the freebie. If you want the ultimate and the business and the education, you're going to have to pay some pennies, which is normally around between around 7 and 12 euros. Maybe more now. All depends on the exchange rate. Okay. So you've got Mahjong here as one of the basic ones. It's just the basic game set you've got here. But as you can see, on the screen, it comes up really nice and bright. And it's nice to use. Lovely. Super. Okay. Next on the list is graphics. You don't actually get hardly anything here except for Simple Scan, which is built in anyway, and GIMP. LibreOffice Draw comes with the full LibreOffice Suite, which is included, so that's pretty good. And Intranet, we get Chromium as your default browser this time, but obviously you can install other stuff if you want to. Empathy for messaging, Geary for mail, and not Chunderbird for a change. And you get the Zorin Web Browser Manager. Now, I don't seem to see a lot in other web browsers. Web browsers. Other distributions now, do you? Really, not too much. So we've got Chromium here, so if you really want to do install Firefox, or Web, or Midori, you just click on Install. And it wants my password, so we'll just do that. And in the, oh no, that's the wrong one. I'll do a different one. Hang on. There you go. And it's going to download all that stuff for us. I'll click on the details. Oh, that was nice and quick. Installing now while it's doing that. I'll just have a quick have a drink of water today. Yeah. Hmm. Very nice and clean. And that's installed. Nice and quick. Okay, so if you go back down here to your menu. And go back to internet you will find midori there with midori private browsing some people like midori some people don't it's a very basic browser it doesn't do every page render very well but for the majority of times it does so yeah that was that uh, under office i said to you you get the full LibreOffice suites including the calendar and contacts this time as well okay super duper sound and video and this is my one i like now there's hardly anything in here really Get the basic rhythm box. Not many people use rhythm box anymore, although it's still a capable player. It's just not in vogue, okay? And the video, I imagine that's M player, so if I open it up, we'll soon find out. If it decides to open up. And it won't tell me, okay. So don't worry about that. We'll close that. Bye. Do another one. Don't want to tell me, you don't want to tell me. Do I care? No. Okay. Pitch V4 editing, basic editing this is. Um not used it for a very long time, but it does do the job. Although that's pretty slow on opening. Can you see that? Very, very slow. And I don't like the black for video editing. Some people like it, I just don't. Okay. But it's there if you want to use it and play with it. It's very capable, but it just doesn't do all the stuff that I like it to do at the end of the day. That's what I really want to do, isn't it? Okay, next. We went to the morning time, we go to system tools. The usual here, additional drivers, online accounts, software updates. I'm all up to date, so there's no big deal for me there. And the Zorin appearance. Now this used to be the one where you could have it look like Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 95, or whatever. We don't call it that anymore, no. It's just a Zorin looker sort of thing. Okay, so the first one is what we're using here. Then we've got the second one, which just gets away with some icons. And the third one is a bit more gnome-like, as you can see over there. If I got that out there. It's, in theory, there should be stuff over there, but there's not, okay. But it's really, really gnomish. Can you see? You've got your two windows open over here etc etc go back don't want to do that so yeah that's pretty good isn't it okay back to activities i'm going to open our web browser which is chromium by default okay and it does get there in the end i think i'll set it to the original theme actually i prefer that quite a lot i'll oh, don't ask again now this little thing here on their start page so it's got google search straight away you can also search as wikipedia youtube and twitter i know i can't believe it so if i go to youtube and i could search me couldn't i I wouldn't be breaking any law then, would I? There we go. I'm going to click on enter. Oh, look, and there I am. And what do you know? The first video that comes up is Zorin OS 6 
from four, actually five years ago, actually, a long, long, long time ago. With six versions on since then. All actually works, all the codecs are already here, so it all will play for you, no problemo. Should I open it up? Yeah, go on, I'll see what happens. Just in case I was lying. Nope, there it is, look. Playing to your heart's content. It does what it says. So I'll forward there in the video. There you go, look. It does what it says. Now, can I make that a bit better? It's only on 480. I can only do that in 720. That's how long ago it was. 28th of June 2012. Blimey. That's apparently in HD now. What if I did it to full screen? Or even bigger screen, even. Yeah, well, it does the job, doesn't it? Okay, full screen. Can you even tell? I don't know whether. Ignore that one now. I know it's got loads of space. Okay. We go back. Yeah, that's fine. No, I don't want to show that. We're just going to go smaller and get rid of it. Okay. So, Zorian OS 12 Core is very, very nice. It's a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. It doesn't come with anything, but then you can just put on what you like. I know. It's lovely. I like it very much. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.